Hey guys, it is John. And uh, Mark Robber, uh, many years ago, was uh, trying to play uh, ball. Unfortunately, he didn't really fare so well. So he decided to, um, let's say, explore engineering and build a ball that would be impossible to hit. Uh, let's take a look and see exactly how he did this. This is actually uh, pretty cool. You see a ball curving, just think of tiny little astronaut wrenches flying off the back of the ball as it spins through the air. And now that I knew their secrets to ball curvature, it was time to use that knowledge to engineer some sweet revenge with an 18 second build montage. This is not. So he uses a 3D printer to actually print his weapon, if you will. And test the aerodynamics, and so how the ball with the, the duffel bag and so many other things, and then he decides to take it off to. But before we get to that, you might have noticed Crunch Labs has a new ball. addition. But the My thing that's very interesting that's about this whole thing Rangers is that this your you know, no one really expected him to go through Labs. all this camp effort, Crunch and he went through a lot of effort to uh, weekly videos explore, with basically that I explore this ball. And then weekly and so super challenges. I, I got to tell you that uh, this, this is something because that if you preload a brass cool. cylinder against the spring in a 3D printed ball like this, and then take apart a one dollar kitchen timer and harvest the geared mechanism, and when you wind up the wiffle hemisphere, you get a one and a half second delay the until this screw rotates there. and releases Actually, the spring loaded plug just like an astronaut and, wrench. and that alters the trajectory in midair making it impossible to predict where to swing and as you can see unpredictability is a pitcher's best friend unfortunately after just two strikes they found my achilles heel and rendered the ball useless which is exactly why you always have so uh pretty cool but i guess the story here is that if you're playing baseball or into the sport, and you're going to try to figure out how to outsmart someone, you're actually not going to get uh, very far because you're going to be found out. When something is so cool and it works so precisely, like in a row that many times, you know there's got to be something at foul play. I am John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur. Check out more of my great uh, reactions. And I got to tell you, this was interesting. But it's not something you want to do on the field, or you definitely will get thrown out. And if the professionals do this, well, you could be fined and possibly <laughs> thrown off the team as well as, uh, let's say, handed some uh, legal implications. Talk to you guys soon, and be sure to check out all my other great content at BelieveMeAchieve.com.